Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a 15 minute evening yoga class for flexibility and relaxation. This is day one of the evening yoga movement. If you're new here, you can absolutely just do this video on its own. Or if you would like to join us for the full 30 days, you can sign up by clicking the first link down below. It's completely free. You can also watch the day zero video for more information. So this is our first practice. No props are required. Get really cozy and comfortable. We are going to begin in Balasana Child's Pose. So big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them to be. So this is a practice to help you unwind and slow down at the end of the day. Get your hips settled and comfortable as much towards your heels as you can and then start to reach your arms forward so you can fold all the way down towards the floor. And even though our arms are extending out, see if you can slide your shoulder blades down your back. And connect to your breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. This is your opportunity to care for yourself, to let go of the day you've had, and to release any tension that is still present within you. Whether this is physical tension, mental, or even emotional. So every time you exhale, feel yourself sinking into the pose a little bit more. And in this challenge, every class will be paired with a different affirmation to help you really connect on a deeper level and to help you relax and unwind. Our first affirmation is I am grateful for my health. I am grateful for my health. So throughout practice, see if you can repeat this affirmation to yourself and notice what comes up for you. Take two more deep breaths in this pose. And push into your hands. We're going to come up tabletop on hands and knees. So you can lift your hips off the heels. You want your hands to be under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and spread your fingertips wide, just cat and cow. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift the gaze, curl tailbone up. Exhale to reverse this motion as you round through your spine. And keep going. A few more rounds of this flowing with your breath. I am grateful for my health. And really you get to define what health means to you and what you are grateful for specifically. Last one here, inhale, open through your hearts, exhale, round it out. And come back to neutral. Walk your hands a couple inches past your shoulders. We're going to find downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift your hips up and back. Draw your lower belly in and really relax your neck here so your head can hang. You can absolutely bend your knees and keep your heels lifted off of the mat. Don't worry about being able to straighten your legs or not. So we're letting go of the need to use too much strength and effort. Just letting go, stretching it out, and seeing what feels good for you here. Let's reach our right leg up to the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Get a nice thigh stretch by squeezing your heel towards your glute. 
and we'll step our right foot to the outer edge of our right hand into our lizard pose. So both hands are to the inside of that right leg and go ahead and let your left knee come down here. So my right knee is pretty much aligned over my ankle and my toes are pointing forward. We're trying to melt our hips down towards the mat and roll our shoulders down and away from the ears. Take some deep breaths here. And maybe you're comfortable where you are. If you'd like to go a little bit further, you can always come down on your forms. So there is absolutely nothing to prove you are choosing the option which feels the best to you right now, the most nourishing. Always seeing if we can minimize any tension from our shoulders, our neck, our jaw. Just let gravity pull your hips down a little lower for five more breaths here in the pose. I am grateful for my health. And if you were down on your forms, like what I'm doing here, you can press back up onto your hands. We're gonna go into puppy pose, Anahatasana. So from tabletop, bring that right knee back, keep your hips over your knees, and instead start to walk your hands forward as you melt your chest and your forehead down to the floor. So in yin yoga, we call this pose melting heart, and that's really what I want you to feel here. You can relax your arms so that your elbows are resting on the floor. I like to keep my forehead on the mat. Some people find it more comfortable to bring their chin to the mat instead. For me, that's too much for my neck, but just see what works for you at home. So melting heart, feel your rib cage soften towards the floor. Slow, steady breaths in and out through your nose as we stretch through our upper body, into our shoulders, into our chest. One more breath here and come forward into Sphinx. We're just using this to transition. So for a breath or so, let your hips come down, open up through your heart, pull your heart forward, and we'll meet back in our downward facing dog. So slide the hands back, push into your palms, tuck your toes under, and lift those hips up and back. Maybe your heels get a little bit closer towards the mat. Really don't worry about this so much. Let's take a cleansing breath in through the nose and a big exhale out the mouth. <sighs> Letting go. Three-legged dog, left leg up, bend your left knee, open up your hip and really squeeze that heel in towards the glute. Let's find our lizard pose. Left foot to the outer edge of your left hand, right knee comes down to the floor. So my left knee is pretty much over the top of the ankle. Both feet are hip width distance apart. It's perfectly normal for one side to be different than the other. So maybe you want to stay here or maybe you choose to come down on your forms if that's what you had done on the first side. And I would encourage you to try closing your eyes once you settle in a pose. It can really help to bring the focus inward. So not worrying so much about how far you're going into a pose or even what it looks like. 
Instead, tapping into the feeling body. So what are the sensations? Where is your breath going? I am grateful for my health. If you are down on your forms, lift yourself back up onto the palms into our puppy pose again. So you're going to bring that left knee back underneath the hips, walk your palms forward and melt on down. So again, either your forehead and nose to the mat or your chin. You will sway a little bit here in your low back, but try to pull your belly up so that you're not curving too much. We are trying to emphasize this in the mid and upper back. Two more full breaths. Slide forward onto your belly, point through your toes, reach up with your heart, big breath in here. And instead of going back to down dog, we're just gonna come up to take a seat. Stretch your legs out in front of you. We're gonna set ourselves up for a forward fold. And we'll make this more like a yin style caterpillar pose. So a very passive forward fold. I don't want you to push or pull. Feet are about hip width distance apart and just start to round. I like to turn my hands facing up so I'm not tempted to push or pull or exert myself too much. And again, you can close your eyes. Don't worry about how far you're getting in this one. As long as you can feel sensation through your spine and a nice stretch at the back of your legs, you are doing just fine. Soften your belly. See if you can even relax your thighs. Fully surrendering in the pose. I am grateful for my health, considering physical, mental, emotional, and even spiritual health. So we need to come out of these forward folds very slowly. Turn your palms flat to the mat and just start pushing into the floor inch by inch. Take your time to roll out nice and slow, still breathing as you unfold and your head is the last to come up. Roll your shoulders back and let's take a twist just to release. You can bend your right knee and cross your right foot over your thigh hug onto your right thigh with your left arm, lift and lengthen, right hand can go behind you as you open into a twist. So the more you're able to pull your thigh to your belly, you also at the same time want to think of reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky, pulling your right shoulder back. And let's unwind to face forward. We'll go to the other side. Bend your left knee and cross your left foot over that thigh. Wrap your right arm around your left leg. Pull and lift up even more. Left hand goes behind you for extra support as you pull and draw that left shoulder back into your twist. So no slouching, no rounding here.
and release both legs straight give him a little shake and come to take a seat in any way that is supportive for your hips and for your lower back we'll bring our hands together at our heart anjali mudra connecting one last time to our affirmation i am grateful for my health and we put this affirmation into action when we take time for ourselves to move mindfully, to breathe deeply, and to tune everything else out. Let's close with the chant of Om. Inhale to chant. Big breath in. Om. Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much for doing this day one 15 minute stretch with me. I hope you feel soothed relaxed and ready for a wonderful evening and a wonderful night's rest please leave me a comment down below and you can use the hashtag good evening so i know that you made it all the way to the end of this video i hope you'll join me again tomorrow night for our day two evening challenge practice namaste I would love for you to just take five minutes and do this affirmation meditation. Please do subscribe to my channel to support free yoga on the internet. You can do so just by clicking the subscribe button right here. Thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow.